Good morning. Well, good afternoon, should we say. Yes, I'm at my house. You're right. I've just been feeding the old horses. I'm back home from South America. Well, I've been home for a couple of days now. And I just wanted to check on my horses because this one hated me in the beginning. Oh, she, yeah, he still hates me. <laughs> He doesn't like me. I try my hardest for him, but he does not want me. He don't like me one bit. He really don't. Come on. Come on, girl. Come here. I know you're upset with me, ain't you? Did I go to South America and leave you here? I know. Terrible, isn't it, eh? Anyway, I've got some work to do today. So I'm back off my Aussie. And, well, yeah. i got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Yeah, you see the old, the old tractor there, mate, you see it, yep. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Got to get some, I need to get some more hay as well, look, there's none in there. Oh, what have we got in here? We've got some horse feeds, so that's alright. Got enough of that for a while. Alright, that's alright, no worries. Bring some of that down. In fact, I've got some over the other field there. I'm going to get a bale over there in a bit. Anyway, let's get on. So, uh, yeah. So, so um, hang on, sorry about this, I've just got to read my phone, hang on, sorry, two minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 the old farm manager. You know, now I'll tell you what, they don't leave me alone for a minute. You know, it's nice being like a multi-millionaire, but... The responsibility is ridiculous. I'm telling you. Gah. Now, I want to find out what the best price. Hang on, sorry about this. I want to find out the best price to sell this gear. Yeah. Where we got that? Where's the best price? Uh, okay, so. Fifth top. Farm. Well, that's one of my farms. What do I want all that for? Cliff Hop Farm. I'm sure that's my farm. Okay. All right. So apparently we need this. <laughs> Cliff Hop Farm. So let's go there then. So yeah, off we go. Apparently Cliff Hop Farm want this. So we must be running low. So here we go. Well, that's good because they paid me. Because what happened, because I'm such a big boy now, I've rented some of my farms out, and Tiffnock Farm is one of the ones that I've rented out to the local farmer. Well, you know, it's easier that way, isn't it? So, off we go. There's nothing like getting paid off the people what, you know. <laughs> Some good stuff, isn't it? I don't know if I get down here with this tractor, though. That's the only thing. I've got a... Funny expression, I will not get down there with this with the wheels like this. Because that fifth foot farm is very narrow down at the bridge there, you know what I'm about. Um it is the best price at the moment, so I don't know who's put these wheels on, but I've told them about it before and I've only been away a month. I suppose they wanted to see what it was like, but I told them, do not put double wheels on this tractor. So I might, in fact, we could, yeah, we, we'll go to the shop and we'll change the wheels back to where they should be and I will find out who's done this. Oh, just took out a sign. So now we're spent, so I have to pay. Uh, Tiff got farm. Well, if I leave the trailer, oh yeah, all my ploughed fields are done. Remember, these are all ploughed with so long as the grass is even grown back. So, yeah, it's all nice down here now, look, all the grass, yeah, a lot of change, I mean, in a month, you know, it's surprising what changes, you know, actually, whoa, 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 have I got a tractor up there I could use, um, no, nah, I'll just change them, they're not supposed to be on anyway, I'll just change them, no hardship, yep, my grass is growing back in there, grass is in there, lovely, lovely, summer's coming, Oh, we can't wait, we can't wait, we can't wait. No, I love it when summer's here. 
Oh, I need to go down there, but obviously I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to change these sh uh, the dealership down here. I know this is not a um, I know this is not a Ferguson place, you know. But the bloke down here, he's ever so good. I'd go in, pay him a little bit of money, and he's away with it. You know, and he does it so quick. It's unreal. All right, I'm going to leave my trailer here because I've got to deal. I've got to deal with the uh, train station here. And he they do me a favour and I do them a little favour, you know, and that's how things work around this way, the woods, you know. So, let's go in here and change these uh, tyres. I mean, look at the size of this beast. Why would they put them on it? I mean, oh, what's uh, going on in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My car's back. Been delivered. And also bought the missus one as well. I bought myself one. And I bought the missus one. We need to pick them up later, but I can't be up, you know, not be doing everything. So let's change these wheels. Why they put them on there? I do not know. I didn't have a chance to change that. Why does it look at this? Right, thanks, mate. Do that. Get that sorted. Lovely, jubbly. Look, see? They're identical. She's going to love me. Well, she's not seen me for a while. And I felt a little bit guilty. So I thought, well, I've got one in South America. And I've left it. I love it so much, I've actually bought two. Yeah. We have we have actually got rid of the old one. Yeah, the red one. Yeah, the burgundy thing. We got rid of that. These are lovely. There's another trailer there for me. Is that for me or is that for someone else? I don't know. I don't remember all doing that. Come on, have you not done that yet, boys? Oh, yeah, they're good, aren't they? They're good. Good boys, good boys. All right, see you all later, lads. Let's get a move on. They're good down here, I tell you. They are really good. See you later, boys. I don't know if can hear me. I always say bye to them, but I don't know if they can hear me or not. Let's get on with it. Let's get on. You make some money, yeah? Some make some money. Now, I'll show you how to turn a trailer around in case no one knows. All right, what do you do? When you've got big boys like this, just get them in there. Get that front weight. Oh, it used to work back in the old days. That's it. It's working. Come on, push the power. Use the power. I would say use the force, but the boy's not here. I wish we could have used the force. <laughs> yeah, you remember that, but... Right, we get this down. we get it down. It's easier to do it here than it is in the yard. Come on, that's it. That weight is so good. Look at that weight. Yes, 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 yes. A la pistol, baby. Let's go. Come on, let's make some money, boys. Right, that's a bit. Let's go, let's go, see. I know it don't look as beastie, but, you know, we don't need it to be beastie, we just need it to be practical and sensible. I think I can stay on the road, not cruising up no more road now, I think when we fell out, obviously. Let's get a move on. Yeah, so, let's get down that west coast. I don't know how we're going to get down here. Because I'll tell you now, it is, that is a tight old yard down there. It is a tight old yard. I'm going to put these on. It is a tight yard. It says it's a dead end, but it's just a private road. My road, actually. I actually... Well, it's, it's, it's weird. Because when it's got puddles and all that, and it needs re and I'm the one who has to pay for it to be done. So, yeah. And all these are my fields. You know, that one we sold. I don't know if we're going to get it back. You know, when we had that bit of an issue, you know? Now, we're getting our way back. We could probably buy every field back now. When I had seven million, well six million I believe I had, I took three down there, I put three in the bank, and I put back what I had when I was down there, it was four million. So we're doing all right. We're doing all right. See I wouldn't have got down there with the other one, I know I wouldn't have done. I well, know I wouldn't have done. Right, this is where we need to go. Private property. It's not private property, well, it is. It's my private property. I've even got the electric gate thing for this. Here we go. See? Cliff Farm. Cliff Top Farm. Here we come. It's funny, I love selling it to the farmers when I rent the farm out to them. I love it because I get double money. <laughs> I get money for rent and I get money for my stuff. <laughs> I love it. What are they doing down here? I like, I like coming down here because it, you know, it's nice to see what they get up to. Yeah, they got a bit of that in there. I might even rent my little combine harvester out to them. <laughs> get more money. <laughs> oh, I'm sneaky, I am. I'm sneaky. 
But it's a way of doing it, because I can't manage all the farms, you know what I mean? The bigger estates, you know, you know, I just rent it out, it's easier. Yeah. It's the only one I do rent out. So it's a bit out of the beaten track, you know what I mean? So, it's easier. It's easier. Yeah, he's in. I'm not going to pester him. Unless he wants to have a chat. He might want to have a little chat with me. Uh, let me get out and see if I can find him. I don't like, you know, it's, at the end of the day, yeah, it's my my farm, but I like to have a little word with him, you know what I'm saying? You know, if I do see him hanging around. Yeah, he's not around, is he? Oh, well, he's not around, so I open the door. Oh, his chickens are going to get run over. <laughs> oh, good to see it. <laughs> his chickens are going to get it. Uh, it will be the first time I knocked the couple off. <laughs> oh dear, right, come on, let's go. He's obviously not around. It's a tight old yard, you need to have your wits about you down here, I'm telling you. Come on, chickens! You don't get out of the way, you're gonna get a swassy. <laughs> yeah, it's a tell me it's a tight, he's got sheep in at the moment, lamb in here, lovely. This why I'm going to lamb. <laughs> anyway, let's just get rid of this. I mean, it's a tight old yard, this, this one. It's alright. He not put it in his uh, bin. You don't mind. It costs him a bit of money. Uh, it costs him a bit of money. <laughs> Here comes the money! We're getting some of that much to get. Oh, get a lot. So I won't charge him over the odds for it, you know what I mean? I never do, you know? It's not fair, you know? You can't take liberties too much. But 15,000, I can charge him that. Yeah, no worries. No worries there. Every little helps, as they say. Every little help. I shut all the cell. I'm nice to him, see? I shut his bin up. I do all these little bits of work. I charge him a little bit of Wongo. And everyone's a winner. You might want some more later. That's because you've got them chickens, mate. That's what you want that for, I bet ya. Right, let's shut these gates up. Always shut. There's no problem with this one because... Well, I don't think this one works. It's stuck in the ground. There it is. But this one here, his chicken, mate, you can't leave your chicken there out. Know? Not nice. You can't you can't do it. I can't do it. I like his signs he put up. I never had them there. Nice, yeah. Private property, no trespasses. Nice one. Yeah, nice one. Knock on his door, see if he's in. Come on, is you in? Open up! Ah, oh, he's not in. Alright, no worries. No worries. Not, not a biggie. Not a biggie, I say. It's not a biggie at all. Let's get on. Right. They'll probably text me or phone me and say thank you very much. So. I like it there. It's all weighed in. Whatever I drop in is weighed in. So he gets me money. Lovely. I'll send them that bill. And he'll pay me. He's already paid me, I believe. Yeah, he's a good boy, he's a good boy. Right, let's get on. We've got a lot to do today. We have a lot to do, I say. Well, he must be raking. He must be raking with all this lot. Well, I don't know why he wants it when he's got stuff in the fields. I mean, it's not quite ready, you know. Never mind. All the more for me. Every little help, they say. Right, let's get a move on. See, I don't mind driving this big old tractor, you know? I don't mind it. I mean, this is probably one of the smallest lanes. I think it around here. Well, for me, too much. But a lot of them, whoo, they shut these gates. I always shut the gates. You know, when it, it was mine, I wouldn't bother so much because it's like, you know, I rent it out. I just want to make sure I don't get no. You know what I'm saying? Oh, lovely. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, nice. Nice one. Alright, let's get on. What's we got down here? So I won't buy that castle up there. They won't, you know, they won't sell that. I've been arsing and arsing. It's part of the, um, oh, what is it? It's not National Trust, it's the English, English, well, it'd be the wealth, I don't know, it might, it might be the English heritage. Is it English heritage here? Yeah, yeah, English heritage, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, of course, it's only like, on the border of Wales and England, didn't we? 
Yes, it will be. Yeah, you're right. But you know, it's all good stuff. Right, let's get on. We got a lot to do. We have a lot to do. So, how you all been? You'll miss me? Of course you have. Of course you've missed me. Well, you didn't miss me much. I've been putting out a lot of videos lately about the, uh, you know, South America, mate. Yep. Old South America. Uh, I was quite upset when the boy died. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. He honestly wanted me to go up and, and see him before he passed away, bless him. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. But we will be going down in about five days, I think. We'll be going down there for the funeral. Now, I said to him, like the family, I said, look, you know. He, he, well, they contacted me. And I said, look, the will. I said, about the will. He said, what? He said, it's all been left to you. I said, well, I have put three million pounds. He said, yeah, no, no, no. It's not that we don't want it. He said, I said, oh, you don't want it? He said, no, he said, no. He says, we're just wondering, like, if we could have a little, like, get together at the house. You know, like a little wake. And I'm going, what, at the, at the uh, villa? Yeah. Oh, when you do know, it's only a two-bedroom villa. He went, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, well, one thing, it's just a mansion. So you've got two bedrooms. I still got more bedrooms in my bungalow, but in my house at, in England. He went, yeah, no, 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 no. He said, no, we just want to, you know, a little wait if we could. I said, yeah, no worries. I said, you know. I said, I said why is he giving it all to me? He says, oh, apparently you saved his bacon or something. For he's in the army and all that. I went, yeah, well, we did do a bit together, like, you know. He said, yeah, and he, said, and he was really worried that you wouldn't come to America to see him. And I'm like, mate, if I'd have known he was the way he was, you know, he should have phoned weeks ago, months ago. We could have had a right old laugh, you know, got together. He goes, he said he was a very, um, what's the word? Very, uh, private man. I said, yeah, I know, I know he was. And he was very proud. And he goes, yeah, he says, he said, have you, did you read the, the will? I went, no, well, not really, I mean, you know. I know I got a, let, a, a phone call from the solicitor and they said we can do all the paperwork in the last, next couple of days. I'm like, oh, no, it's the least of my worries. I'm all worried about, you know, you lot and that. And he's going, no, he wants you to have the lot. And I'm going, yeah, but apparently he's got a timber yard, he's got a sugarcane factory. I said, I can't deal with all that. He said, well, the sugarcane factory runs itself. He said, you can get, he said, you've already got managers in on the you know, I went, yeah, I know, I said, but I've got so many managers, I mean, you don't realise how busy I am. He goes, no, he said, he said, he knows, he knows, anyway, we was, we was chatting and all that, and he was, I was getting down, he said, do you know he got the, um, some medals when he was in the army? I went, yeah, yeah, I know. He, he says, well, he said, would you like him? I went, no, that he's, he went, no, he says, if you read the will, he wants you to have them. I went, no, no. I said, what about his boy? He says, well, look, basically, his boy's too young. His boy's only I mean, 10 or 11. So what I'm going to do, I'm having his medals and his uniform. And when his boy gets to 16, I'm going to give them to him. A bit of money. Do you know what I mean? Help him out, you know? Anyway, this here. All you people that don't know what this is, it's the home of DLC from Giants. It's not officially out, but if you go to Giants' website and put in the, the home of DLC, they will give you a number. Type that number in. If you're quick, you better get this. If you're not, you won't. It's as simple as that, you know. But if you like big bits of machinery, this is a one for you. You know, now I like, well, you know, I love, I love it. I love, um, the old Ferguson's. You know what I mean? Love them, right? And this goes so well with the Ferguson's. Grey with red. You know what I mean? So well, so well. Um, I've, I've managed to, you know, buy these bits of equipment and we will be using them. So, you know, keep your eyes out for this. Because, you know, we're going to have a bit of fun with this. You know? 
So hopefully you enjoy that. So I just want to show you all now. Uh, if you don't want to go through all that lava, if you go to um, a data win and look for his DLC, he had a picture of that on his thumbnail. If you click on that, he's got a link at the bottom of the page. You know, because we all got to help each other out, you know. And he's, he's, he's good. Well, he's better than me doing it, but, you know, we'll get there. I'll get there. One day, get there. One day I might get as half as good as him, you know. Never know. Well, they're well made. You know, they are made by giants. There's no bugs. There's no, you know. They're good. So, yeah. Just, you know, just a little shout out for him, because, you know, he is a good man. Anyway, let's get on. It's not about, it's not about, you know. This is my next play. <laughs> but no, seriously, well worth checking his links. He's got a code. I mean, I've downloaded it. Farmer Brown Junior has downloaded it, and we've got no issues with them. So if you are worried, you know that they're not proper. They are proper. They're on Giants' website, and they're well made. So you know, well done. Let's get on. So we put a new barn up here. It's uh, quite good. Better than the other one, I see. It's not the one I wanted there, I'll come back, the other one's down and that's up. But never mind, I'm not going to whinge. I'm not going to whinge. You know. So, we get on. Right, now I believe they're in this field. I believe that's where they are. Well, they're probably having lunch now. I think home, actually, maybe. Anyway, let's get in here. Let's get in here, get it sorted. Not hang around all day, can we? So... Yeah, look, up there. Get a move on. So, I hope you all enjoyed the uh, South American holiday theme. Yeah, I wanted to put it into my story, and I wanted to make it interesting. And I did say I'd never do an English map. Uh, not an English map, American map, or any form map. But, you know, we had a bit of a laugh, you know. And, uh... We will be doing it every so often. Go and check on it, keep an eye on it. After all, it is my yard, my farm, and my villa. So I can't just leave it. Uh, let's see how we go on this. Start the beast up. Let's get the one go sorted. So, yeah. I'm quite well down here. I mean,. I tried doing it, I tried finding out about how Americans do it, and I hope I didn't offend anyone, because I don't want to be breaking any rules, you know what I'm like, rule breaking. Can't be breaking any rules now, can we? Huh? Americans, how would they feel about that, eh? So, we had a bit of a laugh, and I think I've done it quite well, considering. So, yeah, we're back here. Now, the boy. Oh, he found out about that bit, and he's like, Got a pool, Dad? <laughs> Trying to do American acts in there where I don't think you paid off. So I said, yeah, so he's within Ireland, with, you know, doing the old mod competition with me. Anyway, he's gone off to America and he's took Granddad with him. Yeah, they flew off. Shum, off they went. First class, you know. So they're down there at the moment, so I don't think what they're doing down there. Uh, he's going to see. I told him about it. He went, no. I went, yeah. But this South American wood. Uh, wood. South American wood. Is worth a small fortune. Apparently, what they do, they make very expensive furniture out of it. Yeah. I'm like, what? And I own a bunch load. So what we're going to be doing... I'm going to try and grow some of the trees, like get some little um, siblings and plant them. Yeah, not not thousands, just a little bit, you know, and just watch them grow and all that. So yeah, that should be fun. I'm going to try and grow some banana trees down there as well, because I tried down here and I had to cut them down, they didn't be growing. So I'm going to try and do it down there, it's warmer, warmer climate, or, you know, hotter, hotter down there. So we're going to try that out. And see if we can get some bananas growing. <laughs> That'll be a laugh, won't it? But yeah, no, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. 
no, we was in we was in debt. We pulled ourselves out. We still had a, you know, we got a little. I think we owed a bank a little bit of money in South Africa. Uh, not South Africa, South America. I didn't pay for it. I don't think you know, I didn't think about it when I was down there, but I bought some stuff from the shop, and it was on credit, and I didn't realise. But we'll sort it out when we go down there. Um, well, it's happening. There's a lot happening. Um. I don't know these fields, I've noticed they've got grass in them, like I asked, so they've been ploughed, the contractors have gone in, done that, so I've got to pay them. Um, they've ploughed all them fields up, cultivated that one, uh, cultivated as well, by looks of things. So yeah, we've been having quite a good, quite a good time really, you know. Um, dun 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 dun, she's trying to think what else we need to be talking about. Um, Grandad doesn't want to be in Ireland. He wants to come back. But he's. He's not so good. He's quite. Yeah, he's, he needs a lot of medical help. Um, he, you know, he's old. You know, he's. Well, he's got to be down, what, 87-ish? Got to be. So, you know what it's like. So, he might be moving back to Dusty Cove, where the boy lives. But I think the boy wants to look after him. Bless him. So, he, he means the world to him, he does, Granddad. You know. He means a lot to all of us, you know. We don't want anyone else you know, popping off, especially family, like, it's not good, is it, so, we'll keep an eye on him, the boy's been really good, you know, um, yeah, that's, uh, Cobra Park Farm, that's under, we've got new management in there, so we will be showing some of them, we'll go down there and show you what's been going on down there, in the next week or two, we haven't forgotten it. It is under new management, so and I'm going to try and get round to having a meeting with the manager of the estate because we basically we've just rented it out to them. So whatever they do with the ground is down to them. But I need to put a face to a picture. You know what I mean? So we will be going down there. We'll be having a little chat. I think it's a female. I believe so we'll be going down there and have a little chat with her um make sure she pays the rent on time and all that stuff you know um that's about it really as far as I can remember so yeah so tell you what somewhere around here there's a cat I can keep hearing it meow how is this being this field but, uh, I don't know. Must be hearing things. <laughs> well, you do get some, a lot of wild cats around here, to be honest. I mean, the foxes do try and knock them on the head, but, you know. And I try and knock the foxes on the head. Because <laughs> they're pain with my sheep, and then, you know. Especially the pigs. Oh, they try getting in there. And then pigs just kick them and normally disappear, you know. But... Yeah, so we've been quite fun here, really. I mean, I'm glad to be back. I'm not, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, yes, South America was beautiful. You know, the fields were massive. You know, and the cultivating. It's just a bunch of lads what are down here. It's just so, you know, you just get into it, you get going. You know, well, we've done combining right through the night. I was like, why? I tell you what, though. Probably the second time we've ever done it all the way through the night. I'll tell you what, when you finish in the morning, you do need to sleep, mate, I'm telling you. But you know what I mean? Them mother beans I have. Oh, dearie, dearie me. The size of them. You know, if you don't go, you need to go. Anyone in England needs to go to America. And you just need to go and have a look. Because I didn't believe it. I mean, I pulled up going down the drive, you know, when I bought that new car. And seeing those tractors, I mean, what were they called? Big Bud or something? 
They were massive. Anyway, when I got back home to England, I've done a bit of internet searching on them. And apparently they're the biggest tractor in the world. And I'm like, what? And he had, what, six of them or something? I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. You know, it wasn't like they were just sitting still. They was all out in the fields. They got the bins on, the trailers on, the plowing. I mean, their plows were massive. I mean, that massive field was plowed during two days. It was gone. It took me two days to do this field, you know? I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. What an experience, you know, and I was so honoured to be invited down and then landed up, you know, putting some shares down. Before I know it, he popped off and I owned a lot and I'm like, whoa, I didn't expect that. You know, but I I couldn't believe it, mate. I mean, I'm still in shock now. You know what I'm saying? He was a very good friend of mine, you know. We've been through some real sticky six or eight, especially over at the Gulf War and all that, you know, we, or, oh, yeah, I can't tell you about it because it's obviously top secret, but we, honestly, we was in some six or eight, you know, especially in Northern Ireland, it was a bit hairy canary over there at one time, but, um, yeah, no, no, but, you know, at least I had a chance to see him, you know, and whatnot. So, yeah. But it was very private, man. He was very private. He didn't really want to be shown on telly much, you know? I think we only saw him a couple of times on the tractor, but he was a very private man. He really was. And I was like talking to him. He's going, I said about this YouTube channel I'm doing. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, you're a multi millionaire. Why do you want to do YouTube? I went, oh. It puts a little bit back into the, you know, the country, you know, and someone else sees something that we don't normally do in that, you know? And he's like, oh yeah, I suppose. I went, a lot of people in London don't even know what a tractor is, you know, we do this. I can see what a tractor is. <laughs> he was laughing and that, you know. But, yeah. It's a shame, but it happens, you know? You know? So. Anyway, no, we can't. You know. Mm. Uh, it's the way it is, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to try to stop talking about it. Cause it's starting to upset me a little bit, you know? So, anyway. Not me rabbiting on all down. Yes, you know I'm a little bit down. You know that. You can tell that by the way I'm just rabbiting on. But, you know, I don't know what else to do. I'm, I'm just shocked. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, I dread to think what the farm was worth. I dread to think. You know, with the machinery, I, I dread to think. I mean, if you, I mean, I would never sell it. I, I've already said, you know, I've had to sign a waiver and so I would never sell it. But I am. Um, it's got to be worth 60, 80 million. It's got, I mean, it's got to be. I don't know. Then. No, maybe not that much, but. It's got to be worth. It's got to be worth a lot. Well, then tractors alone are about a million and a half pound each. Six of them. Well, you work that out. That's that's nearly ten million on tractors, you know. So the land. I, mean, I don't know how much the land's worth. Probably not as much as I. I think you know. I look at my land and go, oh yeah, this is worth five hundred thousand, you know. But it's nothing compared to what he's got. Well, had bless him. So, you know, anyway, we're going to get wrapping this up way over the time. <laughs> well, I want to get this finished and then we get on to another job, like, you know. But we are way over the time. Uh, just want to, you know, let you know that I am back and we are staying down here. I mean, five days' time, we are having to go back to America because obviously we've got the funeral. Uh, we're not going to be showing it, you know, the family asked if we could just have, you know, so I went, no, that's fine, but do you mind if I turn up? And they go, no, not, not a problem. So, I will be driving down, you probably see me drive down, and I will stop at the 
video and I will start it when I finish the uh, you know so I hope you appreciate that because you know private stuff is private so you know you gotta you know remember that you know what I mean so uh, yeah so you know hope no one gets to knock with that um, right yes the other side of the railway line I don't know if I mentioned this now I was speaking to this uh, Mexican bloke I'm sure he was Mexican and me and him were chatting and I said what are you doing with the other side of the uh, railway line you know, your land he goes oh I'm selling it out for development and I'm going why is that? He said, well, I'll get more money for it. I said, well, look, whatever you do, please, do not sell it. I give them £500,000. I said, look, give me about five or six days. I will come down and we'll go through the properties together and I will build, buy them field by field. Whatever you ask, I will buy them. He goes, well, I'm going to sell it for development money. I said, you do what you like. I'm buying it. He goes, well, if you can come down in five days, so just after the food deal, we're going to go off, we're going to go down, have a word. He doesn't want to be shown on video, so I just go up to where he's located the prices and I will just buy it. Okay, I'm not even going to try and haggle him, I just need it bought because I do not want a council estate on my doorstep. Or whatever they want to put their shopping centres, you know what I mean? Power plant, they can put anything there and I don't want it there. You know, because I can see that from my house, so I don't want to be sitting all oh, that in that wood. Uh, you know, I need to buy it. So I've left a deposit and I've told him whatever he wants is what I will pay. So he knows I'm serious. I mean, it's going to knock me back a bit, but I don't care. I'm buying it. And that's that. You know? And if I need any more money, I will talk to Grandad and I will get it. Or I talk to my son and I will get it. No way are they building on that land. So that's that. I will be buying it. So. That is that. And that's the end I'm going to say on it. I'm um, seriously, that's it. Whatever he wants, I'm buying it. You know, and that's that. You know, if we can buy it, it's got crops in, we might make it a little bit back, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, I don't know. I don't even know if it's got crops in. But if it has, we'll probably harvest them and get a little bit of money back, maybe. But whatever it costs, I'm buying it. So that's that. Done. So, we do need to go back. Uh, not for five days, so it's probably next week or something. We'll be up there. So, not to worry about it at the moment. So, I've left the deposit, so he's not going to be pestering me or phoning me or, you know. So, that's all sorted. That'd be lovely, jubbly. A little bit more of uh, American pie, as you say. <laughs> so, yeah. Feels funny. I'm putting this into a trailer after doing those, uh, you know, those big old mother bins and what they call it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do have a, well, it's not a funny way. You know, when you talk about it in England, you think, oh, they're a funny way of doing it. But when you go to America and you see how big the land is, you go, actually, yes, I can understand that. But of course, they've only got a window, you know, for getting the crops in. So they just need to get them harvested in that field. Get it done, get it out, you know? Can't be hanging around, waiting for us, you know, like we can. You know, can't be done, you know? So, yeah, you can understand it. I mean, I couldn't understand it to start with. But once you've been there, I mean, I was there for what, just over a month, I believe. You know, I went for a week. You know, to you, like, you know, we got it away in a week, but we was there for a good month, you know? And, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's just so amazing. I mean, just coming off the ferry, you know, off the dock site, you know. And, like, 
just get in my car, see the crane come in, lift my car up, put it on the, you know, on the, uh, do we do? Whoa, 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 what's happened there? No, 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 what's happened there? It's not even on, is it? Is that on? It needs to go a bit more, I think. I've, you know, I can go that a bit. bit. Yeah, that's more like it, isn't it? Yeah, that's better, that's better. Oh, well, uh, so yeah. I'm just coming off of it, it's just so amazing. So, uh, oh, yes, yeah, the other thing. I am waiting for some. a bit of American car load to come over from the uh, boat. I've uh, purchased some new equipment. So we're waiting for that to come over. We're waiting for the car to come over. You know, that American Cadillac or whatever you call it. So we're waiting for that to come over. I'll get a phone call soon, hopefully. So that hopefully will turn up soon. Uh, I'll take probably another week, I expect. So well, that will hopefully come. So we'll be able to see that. It'll be nice to get a bit of that in England. Um, yeah, well, that's just about it, really. But I say a lot has happened here, let alone anywhere else. I'm going to park this combine officer down here. Well, get up here out of the way, lovely jubbly. So, that's pretty much it, really. So, I think we'll uh, call that a day here. It's getting a little bit long, but you know, there's a lot of stuff that I needed to clarify with you lot so he wasn't lost in the story and, and whatnot. So, anyway, I will speak to you later and yeah, have a nice day and be safe. Speak to you soon.